Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. And in this video, I will show you how to install MySQL Server on a Linux Ubuntu 18.04 machine. So let's jump into this. This is simply just the install. Let's let's go ahead. So I am now inside a very clean, um, freshly new uh, Linux machine that I set up on Hyper-V and we will install MySQL Server um, version 8 on, on Linux. So I've got my steps here, you can see on your right hand side, I've got my steps and on the left hand side, I've got a terminal window open. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this as I leave the steps uh, inside the um, um, uh, li a link inside the description below. So let's just paste that in. This is to get the libraries that we need from MySQL. Okay, it uh, seems to download it fine. And then another library we need to, another package we want to download. And I need to put in my admin password there okay so this is uh, everything is going to install you go to OK and click enter okay and let's first just run uh, the sudo command uh, sudo apt get update normally do that when you download a package to before you install that package now the sql the previous version of sql server won't pop up that window so you can run it just in terminal if you are link, linking in terminal but um, i'm using eight here so um, let's let's follow rather this one if you this is the latest version and then the last step well, not the last step. Um, forget copy and paste. Cop Control C and V doesn't work here. I forgot that. And you want to say yes. You want to install this. And I will speed up the video. Okay, now um, you can just check to see if SQL Server is installed by running like sudo service mysql status. And you can see it's active and it's up and running. Control V, Control Z. Um, now you need to install, uh, you want to install the security on SQL. And this is uh, sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation and we let's run that and it's going to ask you a few questions so it will say validate password plugin uh, can be test connecting to mysql using a blank password um, do you like would you like to set up a validate password plugin 
you can say I'm going to say no for this one. Oh, it needs needs a root password, so I'm just going to put in a root password. Uh, yeah, let's remove anonymous. You don't want anonymous login. Um, I like to use my root password when I only use local. If it's if it's, uh, I would not do this. Um, if it's in a production environment. And I don't want to remove the test database, so we can just test it. And yes, let's reload the privilege tables. And it's all done. So now let's uh, check the status again. So sudo service MySQL status. It should be up and running. And what we want to do is we want to restart it. So you can either say uh, sudo stop or you can just say restart. And start. And let's see if we can log into our MySQL server. And this is how easy it should be with a password and your inside SQL server. So this is the install. Very easy, very straightforward. Um, in my next video, I will set up, um, show you how to set up the connection from your, uh, to make it available from your local machine, say Windows hosting machine, and connect that to your, um, your SQL server. Um, there's a few settings we have to set on Linux to do that. Thanks for watching and come back to the next video. Thank you.